Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfen here with Pilot Rhino, and we're working on the bottom skins for the wings. So this skin has already been uh, Clecoed and final drilled with number 40 uh, through all the holes. So we're going to be uh, deburring a lot of deburring and dimpling a lot of dimpling and just going through the instructions and making sure it seems pretty straightforward. The riveting process is not as straightforward because you kind of have to work your way down. Um, you got to stick your hand through. So that's going to be fun, but we'll get to that in a second. For now, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. So this is the mount that Dynon or that you can order from Dynon. I know there's another mount from, I think, Gertz which is universal for either the Dynon or the um, Garmin Probe. I'm using Dynon as we saw in previous videos. I already have everything mounted for it. So here's what I did is, uh, this shows four holes, but I didn't use all four because I wanted to use three. I was only able to, to interact with three of my holes, not four. So I lined this up and kind of held it in place with some clamps. Uh, you can see kind of down here and made sure it was 90 degrees uh, perpendicular to this. I used the square and then there's an L bracket that will attach between this. And so I made sure that all that worked. And then um, I transferred these holes to the piece of paper and then I clecoed, you could kind of glue it, but I clecoed the paper to the skin and then it gives you dimensions for holes so before you cut this out you'll want to center punch and then drill the holes to the size that it wants and then now i'm going to trace this and then dremel that out and then we will uh test fit that it slips through okay and let all the holes line up and then at that point we will start drilling all of these holes so this ends up mounting to the skin and then um, I'll get the angle bracket. I'll final drill those holes through the angle bracket and get it mounted to the rib. And again, I'll, I, I'm not exactly sure if this is the best way to do it. I think this is. Uh, I've kind of thought this through for a while and now I'm just kind of starting to go with it. So I'll update you later when it's all done and let you know how that went. But that's the plan for now. Okay, so we got the hole dremeled out. Um, I use these three to mount it. And then I put enough clecos just to make sure that it's being held in the right spot. And then I taped the template on. And then I drilled these holes. And now I'm going to secure this somehow. I'm gonna clamp it. I'll clamp it somehow in here and then I'll, uh, I'll match drill these. I'll probably clamp it and Clico it to, um, um, to this rib. Sorry. I just thought about something. There's something in there. What am I feeling? Oh, those are Clicos. Okay. Um, I was like, shoot, this is going to be in the way. So I'll just, okay, let me stick my camera in there. Now you can't really see anything in here. Well, a little bit. So I'll, uh, I'll get this probably Clico to this rib. And then I'll final drill those holes and Clico it. Um, oh, one thing I did do, I put the pedo tube back on here and I wanted to ensure that it was going straight into the wind so in line with these rivets because this wing is straight the wing has uh, no forward or aft sweep so I took my my level and I matched it's this wing isn't perfectly level it's a little bit off uh, the bubble was about halfway so I matched a Clico line so I measured this and then I matched that same to the pedo and I double checked it with another line of Clicos just to make sure. So again, this way I know for certain that the P 
pitot tube is uh, pointed straight into the wind with no cross breeze or no crosswind. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's late. Enjoy. All right, well, to wrap up the pitot installation, I could not be happier with this. Um, you, well, let me quickly show you kind of inside here if I didn't already. There's an L bracket on the other side of those rivets that's um, been already riveted in and then final drilled to share these three holes. So it's riveted to this rib right here and then drilled to match these three holes. And then also the actual plate also shares the spar at the bottom. So, I mean, it's in there, it's solid, but I couldn't be happier with the job I did on this. The fit is great. I kind of primed, you can tell I only primed like up to like one inch of this because this will all get, when it gets final painted, I just wanted to have some protection. Um, where it matches up um, that the exterior paint won't get to, but couldn't be happier. Um, and then to get this in, all you do is you slip it through the skin first, and then when you're kind of dropping the skin from the top down, you just kind of bend this forward a little bit, and then it slips right in the channel here. It'll make sense when you're doing it. Um, and then in here, again, I don't want to take all this off, but basically, if you can kind of see what's happening with the wiring, eh, not really. Um, but I have this service loop right here, so if I need, put a zip tie to hold it together, but if I need to disconnect this, I could disconnect it uh, through the access panel and then just cut this one zip tie right here, and then I'll be able to pull that out to work on it. These have not been secured yet, but they will be secured to hold these tubes down and then the um when the tubes from the pedo come through this hole here they'll intersect with those tubes and they'll make a permanent connection that will be zip tied onto those then everything will be out of the way for the linkages and we are good i could not be happier with how that pedo came out so we just did a final test fit on this skin and that'll be in another video, but um, we riveted this one. If you haven't seen that video yet, it probably hasn't been posted, but this skin is done. We'll do this skin, but I think this pedo video will come out first.